Okay, um, I just want to show you how to build the panels. You know, it's just basically taking the you know the sheets of um, HVAC uh, metal, and um, you're taking that, and you're using see the plastic, using the plastic, and you laminate it, so you're covering both sides of it, and you cover it enough so that the metal's inside of this, so the metal would be like right here, say. You still got an edge. That way it's helping insulate and holding the charge. And for the tools to use, I'm just using a you know straight edge, just like a ruler. And um, I'm just cutting it on this so that I have you know something for it to like hold on to, and so I don't cut the table. Okay, now I'm pu I just put the sheet metal on there. Uh, it's just an experiment, so I'm just doing like an estimate right now. So. It's right on top of the plastic, so as you you know you want like an edge to keep it insulated. And the next part, I'm taking a knife and I'm just gonna go and cut one strip, you know, and leave enough space, you know, so that it's insulated still. When I do, you know, the second layer over the top of this, and so I'm just gonna cut this down, cut across all the way down. You know, be careful not to cut myself. You know, use proper techniques. All right, all right. So now I'm. Um, I cut a few pieces. So this is one, and then I cut four more because they don't. It doesn't fit over the whole entire piece of metal. So I'll have to do two on the bottom, and then once I'm done with that, I'll put two on the top. All right, just uh, you know, wipe off the fingerprints or any like oil because it's supposed to. It's supposed to be shiny, I think. So get rid of that. Okay, now that I start wiping off, I'll also remove the stickers if you can. Uh, I put two pieces underneath of it and I laid them a little so that it's still insulating it. You can it's hard to see. But, so I got this layer and you got that layer and it, you know when it when it goes together it'll still be insulated. And you want an edge as I've been saying before on the outside. And the edge will, you know, help make it insulated. So, see that's the plastic is gives that much about. And so now we're gonna st um, stick them on the bottom part. And if you look closely, you'll see that it has two pieces. And this is the sticky part. And then this is just a, you know, wrapper on it to keep it sticky. So we'll take that off and stick it on the panel. Now, when you're sticking it on there, also be careful that you don't get bubbles on there. I, I got a few bubbles on some of my mine, but and it still works. But try to go for optimum. Okay, we're about halfway done, and so as you as you can see, if you can kind of see it, there's a line. So this has been covered. So this side's like all covered, and then we're just gonna put another piece over here and overlap it. So it's just still the metal, and then there's the plastic. You can see the line it goes all the way over, and. This side's sticky, and we'll put the next piece on. And it'll be done. Okay, now the um, insulator has been put over it. So now you see it's insulated on both sides, and there's a metal plate in between the two of the sheets. And now in the corner here, you can do your own way of doing this, but this way I've done was you know drill a hole through. You know, so you go over, drill a hole. I already did it. And then you take it's like a basic little screw thing, a uh, bolt and a uh, nut, and then you're gonna end up taking the oops, taking the nut off. Yeah, take it off, and then you're gonna put it through and screw it through. And when it, once it's through, you can use that to hold the wire on there. And after I was I, um, I put electrical tape over it once it's through so to keep it you know as insulated as possible but um, maybe you know some type of like sealant glue or something to put over it after to make it more insulated that's the best way to do it right now all right and that's that's basically it for the panel so you guys the panel rolling pin to roll any little bubbles as you can see this you know some bubbles here you know. but that's it Alright, so I got the screw through, 
I drilled the whole seals through. And now, I just take the nut and just put on the end. As easy as that. And so I'll put like a connector here with a wire, run it to the other two panels I got up there, and see what our results are.